So here we are, 45 feet from the hole, and I've got these alignment sticks. They're basically four foot by four foot. So that's just under 10% from here. It's a good test of golf to see if we can get these somewhere close to inside that square. It's difficult, it's not easy. It's gonna hit the stick, so that one's a miss. Not far outside the stick, it's not a bad putt, but for the purpose of this game, it's not there. So we've got to take a little bit of the speed off. That looks to be much, much better. That's going to finish nicely inside the square. So I've got that feel, now I've got to try and match it. Don't think that's got enough, so I've left that a bit short. Yeah, just a fraction short, so it's not, you know, is it bad? No, it's not that far from where the, where the hole would be if the hole was cut in the middle. But I want to finish with a good one. That's certainly got a little bit more legs on it. That's going to finish just touch the stick so I could really say that I only got one from four out of there were they bad putts I don't think I hit a bad putt in there because if we think about it if the holes cut right there I'm within four and a half feet of the hole with all of these putts if you can get to within 10% of the distance, so that was a 45 foot putt, if we can get to within 10%, which is four and a half feet, that's pretty damn good golf. So I like the idea of making training difficult. Train hard, play easy. So if you can do this skill on a regular basis, it's a great little way of practicing your long putting. Don't be too worried about the technique, just get a feel for it. And the more you practice it, the better you're gonna get. If you want to get better at long putting, I'm going to put a link to a video up here that I know is going to help you to improve your long putting.